peeps. Are you ready for Mask Monday? Me either. Before we get started, I just want to remind everybody this this is a collab. There's a lot of Mask Monday ladies out there and if you follow the hashtag mask mask monday ladies you will find them go and hunt them down it's a lot of fun i try to watch as many as i can okay so mask monday it is let's see what we got today zit sticker press fresh smooth mask eases redness calms breakouts and evens textures I got this from my friend Candace. I work with her at Cross Threads. And she was kind enough to give me this one. Let's see, how long does it say to keep it on? Um, is it two pieces? Apply both pieces to the face. 20 minutes. Yar. Okay. Today, I thought that I would tell you, ew, look at this. This looks like it's going to be black. Black is my number two favorite color, so this should be good. Um, oh, snap, it's gonna fall on the sink. Um, <laughs> sorry, uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh. Today we are, I just got out of the shower, my hair is wet. We are going to talk about the Hawaiian language. So if you don't want to know anything about that, run quick. In case you didn't know, Spousal Unit was born and raised in Hawaii. And so... I hope this is the bottom. I can't really tell. So when we first got married, we lived in Hawaii. This is really slimy. Seriously. It doesn't really have a smell, but it's, it's seriously slimy. It has enough slime for about three masks. Um... Anyways, since we lived in Hawaii, I had to learn a little bit about the Hawaiian language. Now, the reason I even thought of talking about this is because when I travel, I hook up my phone to this sink in my car. You know, the, the stereo sink, not, not the wash your hands kind of sink. And I play Pandora. And I have a lot of songs, different channels on there for the different kinds of music I like. And this particular time, I decided that I would play Hawaiian music for Spousal Unit. So, as I'm listening to the music, I'm thinking, hey, I could just tell everybody about living in Hawaii and how all of the road signs are in Hawaiian and names of the cities are Hawaiian and you look at them and it's hard to know how to pronounce them. So I'm going to tell you how I learned to. Now, unlike the English language that we speak, there are 26 letters in our English, our American English. And the Hawaiians have 13. So there's only 13 letters in their alphabet. And several things you should know. First of all, each vowel has one sound. Unlike in our language, it could, like the A has a long sound and a short sound. A and A. Ah. It's not that way in Hawaiian language. They have one sound for each vowel. A. I've been practicing this this morning and now I've forgotten what I was gonna say. Don't you just hate that? In, um, in the Hawaiian, the A is hey, is like hey, 
A. It's a, uh, um, is that right? No. No, it's ah. It's ah. Sorry. Brain hemorrhage here. It's ah. Like, you know, the short sound. Ah. So that's A. E is like A. You know, it's like, a, a, like, hey. You know, like A. I is like E. And O is O. And U is O. So it's that's just how it is and that's how you always pronounce it all of the words have a vowel at the end so it's always going to end in a vowel so if you look at any of the hawaiian names or any of the language at all it always ends in a vowel and every time you say a hawaiian word every one of the vowels are pronounced you got that? So, like, if you look at Oahu, which is where we lived, it's O-A-H-U. So, Oahu. That's O-O-A-H-U. Got that? Now, when I was there, they, um, there was a guy there that was, it was kind of a, just a, tourist trappy thing and they take your name and you can't really say translate it but they say if you were Hawaiian this is how they would do your name now my name he did that for me and since there is no J in the Hawaiian alphabet he said they would change it to K so instead of J-E-A-N it's K-E-A-N now as I told you previously there has to be a vowel at the end. So they would throw a vowel on the end. So he said invariably it would probably be an E. So instead of J-E-A-N, it's K-E-A-N-E. -E. So, do you know how they say it? Kaene. No, the A is second. Kaane. Kaane. See, I can't even remember. <laughs> Anyways, that was ridiculous. <sighs> this looked a lot better in my dredging it up. How weird. Anyways, you kind of get the idea. It's not as easy as you think to pronounce the Hawaiian words. And just as an FYI, the actual word Hawaii in Hawaiian is pronounced Hawaii because W's are pronounced with a B. So it's Hawaii. Do you care? I don't know. I also thought I'd give you an update on Coco. Uh, when I went on the trip, I left him here and the brother was checking in on him and stuff. And I thought he was doing great. He followed the brother around the yard as usual and Apparently he didn't take it well. So when he when I got back, he has been like attached to me. Can't even hardly walk. He's just like <sighs> hooked to my feet. I didn't think cats got that attached. So he always in the morning when I get up and read, he likes to sit in my lap. And that's normal for him is to sit in my lap while I'm trying to read. Which it would be great, except for that each one of my books have a bookmark with some sort of tassel thing. And he thinks that's there for him to play with. It's annoying. Um, I had to set a towel by the window where he comes in and out because he likes to dredge in wet feet. And so that's to sop that up. And all of a sudden now he's decided my Bible sit there. Put it to the side so he wouldn't have to step on it. Well, now he's decided that he wants to step on it. So I had to set a flamingo on top of them so that he would not step on them. And one more little thing that our little menace is up to. I told you before he has figured out he can get on the roof of the camper. 
Well, he's decided that running back and forth on the top of the camper at two in the morning is great fun. He might as well be in my room waking me up because it does the same thing. He's just still a menace, in case you wanted to know. Okay, this is not done yet because I haven't used enough time and I'll be back. Okay, peeps, let's get this off. It didn't bother me, but it has got a lot of slime. I, I don't think I like this much slime and it's slimy. I don't, I really don't like this much slime. So I'm very probably gonna wash it off here in about two minutes. Cause there's just so much, it's, uh, it's just like everywhere. Anyways. I should have done this this morning when my brain was still with me. I'm tired. Seriously tired. This is Sunday night in case you haven't figured that out. And I'm getting ready to go park myself in bed. So I'm going to say au revoir. I hope this finds you absolutely amazing. Stay blessed. Until next time. Hey, you made it to the end. Please hit like and subscribe and thanks for watching.